It is Monday. Hooray. Actually, you know what? That's not, that's not the approach you should take every day. You should approach the day like, like, like with, with like passion and vigor. Happy Monday, everybody. Kind of like that. Anyway. Um, well, again, not a lot of, um, things, you know, happened yesterday. It was actually, you know, pretty quiet, which is a good thing. You know, you need a nice, quiet final weekend of April. Yeah. It's, this was the last, this past weekend was the last weekend of April of 2019. We're, we're almost done with the month of April. You know, May is just a, literally a couple of days away. And then, honestly, I think, I mean, if any of you guys have been watching my videos since the very beginning would know this, but I think, like, May is around the time things really start, you know, picking up when it comes to, uh you know, things that are, you know, going on, because, I mean, the only thing of significance going on right now is that baseball season has started, and, you know, we're in the uh, NBA playoffs, which, if I'm not mistaken, I was actually trying to hold back a yawn right there, I'm sorry, if I'm not mistaken, the first round of the NBA playoffs is over. Again, I don't really have a, you know, stay in or any, any sort of bet on who's going to win all that because, again, I'm not really a big basketball expert. You know, I have, I have several friends who I've actually known for many years, some from Trinity Pauling and some from Horseheads, who are bigger basketball fans than I am, and they would, they're easily better at, you know, telling, like, the who's who or the what's what of basketball so that uh that you know i never said it was perfect ladies and gentlemen at least not for this so there we go um that in mind i do know some things that are going on at least for basketball and it's well for one thing, it's evident, well, this is actually something I've known for a while, and that's, as of right now, LeBron James being a Los Angeles Lakers has been nothing but a complete bust. <laughs> it, uh, I mean, then again, considering that he actually tried to get his entire team traded for one guy, you know, come on. Of course your teammates are going to turn on you for something like that. You know, you became a traitor to them. Like, that's just plain cruel. I wouldn't, I would never do that to my teammates. If I, you know, was, then again, if I was given that kind of power, I wouldn't even consider that because I would know better. But, yeah, that, that, that's a, that's a true fact. I mean... There are some teams that I do like in the NBA. You know, I do watch a lot of Shark Tank, so I do kind of like the Dallas Mavericks, you know, thanks to Mark Cuban. Um, you know, I mentioned several of my friends who are be who are bigger basketball experts than I am. One of them's a Celtics fan. Another one's a Bulls fan. So there's that. Um... I mean, I am from the state of New York, you know. Of course, I know about the New York Knicks. Um, and honestly, considering that everyone was saying how great LeBron is over Kevin Durant and the fact that LeBron couldn't lead his Lakers to the NBA playoffs, meanwhile, Kevin Durant is dominating in the NBA playoffs, I do like Golden State. You know, it was actually really funny because... um. On an, early, on an earlier episode of Hot Ones, Guy Fieri was the uh, guest. And one of the first questions that was asked him is, is it true that you are the reason why Kevin Durant's not playing for Golden State? It was actually really funny because um, 
uh, you know, Guy Fieri and his wife are huge KD fans. Uh, KD is Kevin Durant. And they actually, you know, kind of know him personally, or they know his agent personally or something. And then Guy Fieri sends a text saying, look, this, this would be, you know, this would be great. I mean, it'd be, I mean, it's the sort of thing where, like, never in a million years did you think anything was ever going to come from that. But, sure enough, KD went to Golden State, and, and Guy Fieri's like, you know, we'll, we'll see. We'll see what happens if uh, I get a ring or not. So, I don't really know what the ramifications are, but, yeah. Hey, guys. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, sorry. I actually had a pretty... It's weird, I actually had a really good night's sleep. Why am I yawning a lot? That's that's weird. Anyway, um Guy Fieri is, you know, Bay Area to the core, you know, Raider Nation, you know, stuff like that. Again, Golden State. So yeah. You gotta you gotta represent your hometown area. Well, speaking of Raider Nation, I mean if any of you guys have been following the NFL, you know of what Coach John Gruden has done to the Raiders. I say two because he got rid of Cleo Mack and Amari Cooper, and during the but he got a bunch of first round draft picks for it. And I mean, again, it's far too early to say whether or not these picks are quote unquote busts or not. Especially since the season hasn't even started yet. And again, you know, to some capacity, we actually want these individuals who are drafted to succeed. On the flip side of that, though, Oakland actually has the hardest schedule this upcoming NFL season. So we'll see if, uh, we'll see if those picks end up being exactly what the doctor ordered. I mean, it's possible for it to work. I mean, that's how the Dallas Cowboys got their dynasty in the, uh, uh, in the 90s. Oh, right. Um, you probably are wondering how that happened. Well, um, it was, um, you know, near the beginning of the 90s. It was around the beginning of the 90s. And uh, the Dallas Cowboys had a player called Herschel Walker. You know, Jimmy Johnson traded Herschel Walker to um, to the uh, Minnesota Vikings. And he got like, a whole bunch of picks from that. And we got guys like uh, Emmett Smith and Troy Aikman out of that draft. And, you know, the rest is history. There we go. So, yeah. It was, um, that was fun. You know, it's weird. I didn't really start being a Cowboys fan until pretty much after the 90s. Partly because, again, I didn't think football was as entertaining as I think it is now. So, of course, when that happens, my Dallas Cowboys have yet to win another Super Bowl. Especially since there have been several instances where it really should have been a Cowboys-Patriots Super Bowl. Back in these last... Out of these last four years, three of them should have been... You know, actually, of these last five years, four of them should have been Cowboys, Patriots, Super Bowls. So, yeah, there we go. I just noticed that right now. I thought I'd fix that. Oh. It really is a Monday, folks. I really am just not feeling it today. I mean, I'm feeling it in the sense, I mean, I'm not feeling it in the sense like, you know, it feels off today. I don't know why. I mean, Maybe it's because of the fact that it's, you know, Monday. Maybe it's because, you know, it's, you know, the beginning of the week and such. But, I don't know. I mean, I don't feel sick necessarily. Although, you know, it's weird. Whenever, like, I work out or run, I have, like, this, like, for whatever reason, snot starts building up and so... You know, I gotta give the old snot rocket and move on. Yummy, isn't it? <laughs> uh, oh, boy. Man. I mean, 
I really should wait until... Hmm. I wonder if, what I should do tomorrow, though. Just because, you know, tomorrow is the last day of April, and, you know, at the end of March, I talked about how great of a month March was. So, I might actually do that. I think that's what I'll do at the end of every month. Unless there's, like, some sort of insinuating circumstance where, for whatever reason, you know, I'm just not able to do it. But I think from now on, at the end of every month, I'll probably just talk about what my feelings overall for the past month have been. Just, I mean, like, you know, all the great things that happened, or... Well, actually, you know what, you know what scratch that. I, I don't think I should do that. I mean, I'm all, I mean, I already have, a, well, I'd say series, but I've only done one video technically of this so far, which is the State of My Being address, which actually is coming up in a couple weeks. I guess I am going to have to do something. I guess I'll probably wait till then. I mean, by my count, May 15th should be day 500 because, you know, I do try and pay attention to stuff, you know, in preparation. And, yeah, and, yeah. Honestly, if I did something like that at the end of every month, it would be a little bit too monotonous. Plus, what if something happens where I'm just simply not able to, uh, you know, talk about or discuss, like, you know, what my, the state of my being is overall. So, yeah. I think I'll make the call as to, uh, I'll just simply not go to, uh, talking about what my feelings, actually, actually, I should, I shouldn't say it like that. I should always talk about my feelings. You know, that's, it's never, okay, you know what, I'm just going to say this right now. Guys, it is never, ever wrong to talk about your feelings. It's not. You wouldn't be human if you didn't. Yeah, that's, so, yes. It's always a good, you know, I'll tell you what, it feels good to talk about your feelings. That's how awesome that is. I, I want to be an advocate for, you know, being able to, you know, express yourself in a way that's, you know, decent. You know, because I firmly believe that you should. So, yes. Of course, you could simply watch the movie Inside Out and, you know, you could easily get the message from that. But, yeah. <laughs> I actually have the movie. I have that movie. Well, I mean, of course, of course, I've stated many times in the past I like these. I like that movie, so probably watch it today. Probably should watch it today. That'd be nice. It feels. Well, it would wouldn't be a bad idea to do that. No kidding though. A friend of mine was doing um some sort of uh like recommendations for movies to show like kids involving the involving like you know life in general and you know, like, being good to one another and feelings overall, I'm, like, inside out. Not only was that the first response, but it was also, like, the perfect one because my friend really liked that. So, it's also really good to see I'm not the only one who likes that movie. Then again, I don't think I've ever met a single individual who doesn't like that movie. That's a good movie. I think I'll probably watch it. And man, this was a day I just rambled on for incessantly, isn't it? Oh well. I guess it really is Monday. Well, yeah. But just because it's Monday, in no way means it's bad. So like, favorite, turn that subscribe button. I can really support you. Do you follow me on social media platforms, YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and Tumblr. As always, I'm very humble. I made this video for all of you guys watching. Enjoy for today. I'm very humble. We have a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful Monday. And remember, for the you guys that want to talk, your channel is going to be here to lend an ear. And I'll always have your back. Take care and make good choices.